Cornwall Wildlife Trust are really grateful for all the work you've been doing here at Five Acres. Yeah. Um, how did you get involved with it a couple of years ago? What, what was your motivation? Um, I basically wanted to have a career change. I knew that I've always enjoyed being outside and I've grown up in Cornwall and I love everything nature. I live just down the road and this was the closest place for me and I started reaching out to them and David was super welcoming and then just had me over for the first day and then since then I was hooked because I was learning everything land management and really getting a bit closer to the hands-on side of land management and conservation but also picking up knowledge every day that I was here and also connecting more with the other volunteers who are local people who you would never normally get to interact with. So, so it yeah. sounds like it's been a really positive experience for you. Mm -hmm. what, what would you say you've gained from being a volunteer here? Uh, well, loads. <laughs> um, uh, everything from real scientific knowledge. Every time you come, you're learning something new. Mm. As the seasons change, as the years go by, you're following the calendar of the seasons really and all of the nature around you you're learning everything from the practical side of environmental conservation but you're also i i personally get um a sense of you know a really really good well-being mental well-being connecting and talking to people i really enjoy being around other people and yeah it's it's just it's really good. <laughs> good. And, and what, what are some of the what are some of the most enjoyable tasks you've done here? At Five um, Acres? What? We there's so many different tools that you get to use. So it's, you know, in the summer and the spring, you get to use scythes. So I really enjoy scything and clearing the meadows, but also um, doing things like emptying the ponds, which are um, which we needed to. You know, you're learning um, how to fix things and the reasons why you're trying to create different ecosystems and yeah the i feel like i'm learning lots of scientific things but also i'm learning my more personal skills being around other people working within a team mm. and are there things here that have changed a lot over the last couple of years yeah massively we've um in, we've planted new trees we've cleared lots of areas which is an ongoing project because you always have to clear it because it always comes back um the pond itself we um implemented a new system up on the building where we were uh, collecting rainwater and that now instead of just going onto the ground and potentially causing like flooding or washing away everything that's around it it now gets funneled down here and fills up the pond and keeps it going keeps okay. it topped up all year round so where's where's the funnels it uh, it's just it goes down here okay. underneath us and then oh, we right. built a trench all the way up the path and it yeah. just comes off of the off the roof yeah. yeah what would you say to someone who's thinking oh you know maybe i'm thinking about volunteering not sure if it's for me a bit nervous would you have any words of advice for them? Volunteering for everyone. <laughs> There's a, every kind of person can get into volunteering and you don't have to have any knowledge either. You just have to want to be outside and um, yeah, just go and reach out. There's so many different organisations. Like obviously, I'm really lucky because the Wildlife Trust is here and I live just down the road. So mm. I can just come up here every Wednesday. There's lots of events that you can, they have at events at the weekends and um, even if it's just once a month or you know, once every week or even once a year, that one time that you do it, you'll come away from it feeling really good about yourself and you'll have lots of other things. You'll meet people that you get along with and because you care about the same things and yeah, you'll just have loads of fun and don't be scared to go out and be outside. Sounds like good advice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>